um, I was kind of hoping that I could do a um, longer video today. Um, I actually found quite a few um, souvenir, like park souvenir picture books on eBay, like retro ones. Like one is like Magic Kingdom from the 70s, and then I've got from the 80s, and one is, um, I think it's Magic Kingdom as well, but 1999. But unfortunately, although they were supposed to be delivered yesterday, they have not made it here yet. Um, shipping seems to be held up a little bit. So for today's video, um, I just saw this little collection on my nightstand and I thought that it would be, um, it would make an interesting video. So today I have Disney figurines. Well, Mickey figurines, because they're all Mickey. Um, two of them are uh, vinyl um, Tsum Tsums, and two of them were from the Mickey 90th mystery set. So I thought we could take a closer look at these today. So this one is a an older style Mickey. It's not Steamboat Willie, but it is black and white. So, from one of the older Mickey cartoons, I wish it said on the bottom where it was from because I definitely do not still have the, the little booklet that tells you where it's from anymore. But sadly, all it says is 2018 and has like a serial number. So, I don't know. But we have our classic Mickey here has a little bit of like an older look to him and then also of course he's black and white. Doesn't really make like the tapping sounds aren't really loud but he definitely has different eyes than Mickey today. He almost looks a little bit creepy and then because it's black and white he's got the gray shorts and there's his little tail and he's standing super confidently. He's got his hands on his hips. So this is black and white Mickey. And the other figurine that I have from the Mickey's 90th mystery set, it was like, it was like the history of Mickey, so they had like from Steamboat Willie all the way to the current, and I really wanted Steamboat Willie because, um, like I mentioned in my Mickey Memories uh, plush video, my grandma was born in 1928, the same year that Steamboat Willie came out, and um, she unfortunately has passed away. But she used to excitedly tell everyone, like, whenever she had to give a fun fact about herself, that she was the same age as Mickey Mouse. So I really wanted the Steamboat Willie one, but didn't get that one. But these are still pretty cool. So this one is, like, the pie-eyed Mickey. So he is in color, but it's not the same look as Mickey today. And he has his hands, well, one of his palms is out and the other one is kind of like an oh boy and he looks like he's walking. Mickey always seems like such a positive character like I know there have been some cartoons where he's like in a bad mood or whatever but I feel like he always tries to find to make the best out of situations which I think is a, an important ability to be able to have because you never know what's going to happen so I feel like Mickey is like always always ready to like take on whatever comes his way and he always like makes it work out so so these are from the Mickey um, Mickey's 90th birthday mystery box collection these next two are uh, vinyl sims so um, the, around the same time that they came out with the mystery Mickey figures like the ones that I just showed they came out with a Tsum Tsum like those little blind bag fortunately don't still have the packaging because that would make really nice noises um and they came out with some um like vinyl Tsum Tsums so not like the plush Tsum Tsums from the other video but they're like a vinyl plasticky feel um that represent some of Mickey's different costumes. So I have two of those. So the first one that I have, so each one has like a prop and then a character. So this one is Sorcerer Mickey. So he's got his cute 
little sorcerer hat and he's got his red robe with the little rope tied in a bow he's just so cute and his little accessory is a book so it's a book that's open um, it doesn't actually say anything it's just squiggles but it does have a big M for Mickey and if you were to display this you there's like a little indent in this side of the book and so you would set him like this so he just sits on the book so Sorcerer Mickey Tsum Tsum and this one was my favorite one I was so excited like this was the one that I was hoping to get out of the set so when I opened the blind bag I was like yay um but this one is a band leader Mickey so he has his cute little um I was never in band, so I don't really know what it's called, but it's this like a drum major hat or like a conductor hat or something with a little feather. And then his little, he's got the little buttons from his uniform and like the little rosy cheeks. And this is the cool part about this one, you guys. His little accessory is like a drum that he sits in. I guess, I think he has to go back this way because of his hat. And it says the Mickey Mouse Club, and it's got these flags, so it's super colorful. See how he just sits right in there? This is so cute! So, I was, this was the one that I was hoping to get from the set, just because I thought the, the drum accessory was super cute. So, yep, so we got Band Leader Mickey. So... Sorry that today's video is a little bit on the shorter side. Um, I am hoping that those little souvenir, like pictorial books, will come um, in the mail uh, maybe tomorrow because we usually get mail on Saturday. If not, then it probably, if not, then it probably won't be until next week, which would be, would be really sad. But. I am excited to see those myself because I love vintage Disney, like vintage Disney parks. I love seeing like how the parks used to look, what attractions there used to be. Um, I love like um, like the history of like uh, like defunct um, attractions, like Yesterland and our like Yesterworld and that kind of stuff. I love stuff like that. So I am super excited to look through these books when they come and of course I will do a flip through and show y'all with me so you can experience them too. So if you um, enjoy Disney and or <laughs> um, ASMR, this one was not a very ASMR video, I mean the soft spoken element I guess, um, and a little bit of tapping. Um, but anyway, if you enjoy Disney and ASMR. If you could please give my subscribe to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, and uh, if if you want more, sorry, I'm like trying to remind myself of all the things that I'm supposed to say, and so sorry if it sounds like I'm th just remembering things because I am. Um, if you enjoy, um, if if you enjoy, if you want more Disney AS, uh, daily Disney and ASMR content. Be sure to check out my Instagram, um, Disney ASMR. Um, oh, oh, and I forgot to mention. So I changed my channel name instead of Raylan ASMR. I decided to change it to Disney ASMR. The reason why I made that change was because when I started this channel, I thought that I was going to be doing more general ASMR videos. But then when I decided that I wanted to focus on Disney things, I thought that Disney ASMR better represented the videos that I do. So that's my channel name now. Um, giveaway is still going on. Um, the giveaway will end on Monday, August 3rd, 2020. Um, I don't, I haven't really set the time. Um, probably around 5 p.m. Eastern time because that's about the time that I get home from work and so that would just be a good convenient time for me to um, like put all the entries together and do a drawing um, but the point is you have today and this weekend still to enter so um, yeah <laughs> yeah
yeah, sorry, that just kind of went from like, from like 100 all the way down to zero. Um, so, uh, while I stop myself from rambling, have a great night, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!